What's up guys, Doe here, and I'm bringing you my third After Effects commentary, um, and this will be over colored flashing. <laughs> um, so I'll give you a little preview of it with this OCE-ish, half OCE. So, <clears throat> now, sorry, now is it? Um, we have the gradient, four color gradient color flashing. Um, we have the red color flashing, we have the green, and we have the blue. Um, it's fully adjustable if you want to make the colors more visible in this one, for example. We can do that. So I'm going to, where is the clip? Right here. I'm going to drag it down here. I am going to grab my secret, secret color correction, if I can find it. There it is. Do I need anything else? No, I don't think I do. Okay, copy. Actually, copy the adjustment layer. Copy, paste. So here we go. And um, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna do this with a song. Although you were gonna want to do it with a song. Um, like I did. I synced it with the beat with these little layers or markers. And I went. I skipped one beat. So I basically made this a little bit, like a second long, possibly, but this song has like two beats per second, so I skipped a beat because that would have just been crazy, like boom, 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 boom. So, um, I mean, you can arrange the layer to be however long you want, five seconds, three seconds, one second, anything is fine, but we're going to need a solid for this. So go to layer, new solid, and you want the solid to be under your adjustment layer and so you have this little cool design thingy now for we're gonna call, cover blah, four color gradients first so drag in four color gradient and here's what you got and you can kind of see the vignette or however you pronounce it i say vignette but i guess dark around the edges so if you look at the color correction actually i'm not gonna pull it up if you might be able to see it right there but it's there. It's definitely there. And what it does is make the outside, it makes the outside dark. So when we do an opacity fade, first we're going to set the blending mode to add. So you see that? It goes crazy. And then if we do an opacity fade, just take the 100. It kind of fades in. It makes it bright, darker first. And then it kind of fades out. So I think it's cool. But if we drag this layer above our color correction, it looks like that, and it doesn't look nearly as nice. So I'm going to drag it back below, and I'm going to drag it to 50 so it doesn't look crazy. And there we go. Um, that is basically it. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kidding. So you have the mode at add, and you have the opacity at 50. You want to keyframe it, and then you want to go however long you want to. I will go a second, and then I'll bring it to zero. So what it'll look like if we ran preview it is like this. Let me turn that off. So it'll flash like that. And then we can add another one. Hold on, let's split the layer first. So what you can do after you split the layer is you can just duplicate it. And drag this one over. So, I mean, I'm obviously going to... I obviously didn't do this. Because I, I didn't have four color gradient every single time. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to take off the four color gradient and I'm going to add fill now. Because fill, you don't want to just color this solid because it doesn't look as good. Like I've tried it, I don't, I don't think it looks as good. So you add the fill to the solid and then do the same thing, go to 50. And then uh, fade out and then fades out. And then you just duplicate it again. Now, click on the timeline and then click Command D. Bring it across, and then we're gonna change the color again to like a light bluish, like that. And then we're going to. It works best with dark colors, by the way, because you can kind of see it doesn't really pop out the blue. But if I added a darker blue, it's more visible. Boom, boom. Eh, not really, but it's it's a little more visible. 
darker colors are better. For this, I'm not picking sides on color on a color war or anything. Orange, and there we go. It's just flash. And I will ram preview it real quickly for you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so that's all there is to the flashing. I mean, this is there are plenty of ways to do flashing. This is my favorite way, and this is like the ways that I do it. If you want to do really fast, um, fast flashing, there's you can use Twitch, which is a third-party plugin. And it does, you can do it like every frame, like every frame the color changes and it looks sick, especially when the, when you have like a really fast dubstep song. So, I hope you found, I, I'm covered everything, right? You change the mode to add, you make it a solid, and then you just add, yeah, I think I covered everything. That's what I did in this OCE. Now, if you want to see this OCE, I will upload it and I will post an unlisted description right on the screen right now and um, if you want me to do a tutorial on something about it like the twitch or the color correction maybe um, the screen pumping um, the blurs after the shot that little thing that warping little crazy thing you just feel free to ask um, maybe the transition although the transitions all I did was fade out <laughs> so um, yeah, but feel free to ask. I think that basically covers our tutorial. Wow. Now it, was, it took me like five minutes to cover this. I thought it was going to take a little longer. Oh, but while I'm doing this, I might as well explain some of the blending modes. So, well, over here, I will add a new solid. Black solid. Okay. No, this should be fine. Okay. So, no, no, it won't be fine. Okay, fill. I'll just add in fill again and make it red. Okay, so blending modes that I use are normal, obviously, add, which makes it like brighter. And you can compare it with screen. Screen kind of does that. I mean, it make it takes out all the dark. Like, if you take something, if you put something black on it, like here, let me, let me change this to black. It does nothing because it takes out all the black and it just puts it on the screen. It's kind of like a green screen for black things. So, um, it does the same with colors except not as dramatically. And um, I'm gonna, is this set to add or, oh, crap. That's why I set the adjustment layer to screen. I'm going to set this to screen. Yeah, so there is no difference. Aha! So there's only a difference when it's black though. Um, I'm gonna go put it on, uh, where is overlay, overlay, that looks kinda sick, I mean, it looks like blood, like the color of blood, you can toy around with these too, um, I don't think overlay works with black though, I will, like, I'm, and by black I mean, god damn it, by black I mean, where is it, where is it, go to, Action Essentials Action. Here it is. And if we take like Dirt Charge, I think I already had it in here. What was the point of that? God. If we have Dirt Charge in here, we drag it up top. And that's what it'll look like. So it'll just be like, and you're gonna be like, ah, what happened? So if you add Add, it'll kind of make everything see through ish. If you add Lighten, it'll lighten it. I mean, this is all kind of self-explanatory. If you add screen, it'll just make it go to the screen. And it's kind of see-through-ish. I mean, I mean, nothing's perfect, but if you have Twitch added or anything, it's gonna, you're not gonna notice any of it. So, I mean, I added, I actually added this at the very beginning. I made it over here, and I, since there's Twitch, I didn't have to keyframe it perfectly. <clears throat> okay, so back here, uh, let's do overlay, and that's what's gonna happen. Overlay is kind of cool, if you ask me. It, it, I think it adjusts everything else to um, the layer that you have. So, like, including the colors. So, you see there's black, there's yellow, there's orange, there's red. And I think that is very cool. Now, go, let's go soft light. It just makes a soft light. I'm, this is all kind of... 
hard to hard hard for me to explain because it's all explained for you right here. You and that is pretty badass saturation. Um, you can toy around with it yourself. You can put it to darken, and that is pretty cool actually. Um, classic color burn. So basically, it'll color burn it, and it'll that actually looks really freaking cool. I have to do that with like a gradient or something, and I'll, with like smoke, and I'll just smoke will change color. But that's a basic overview on the um, blending modes. So I think I've covered everything now that I because the blending modes I meant to put in the basic. Uh, beginner tutorial, but I forgot to. I ran out of time. I th think I am allowed to upload 15 minute videos now. So, yeah. Um, if you like this tutorial, found it helpful for color flashing because it was meant to be a color flashing tutorial, and I looked at my timer and I said, Oh, I have plenty of time, so might as well throw in the blending modes. If you found it helpful, and if you liked my OCE, half OCE ish thingy, and the reason I say half is because I didn't really add a cinematic or an intro. I didn't really, yeah, I guess, cinematic or an intro. Then, um, <coughs> leave a like and a comment. And give me some feedback, what you want me to do next. I think I already went over that, so I think we're all good. Yeah, tell me what you want to do next. Um, leave a like. Don't leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Just don't like it. I mean, simple as that. Um, give me some feedback, subscribe if you like my stuff, next tutorial is going to be syncing, and thank you for watching. Um, this is Doe, and this has been my third tutorial. Bye-bye.